In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform a Kruskal Wallace test. This is the non parametric version of the one way ANOVA. So, we will once again be looking at our diets one, two, three, and we'll be looking at total weight loss. We go to analyze non parametric tests. Now, normally I would send you to the legacy dialogues and I would use one of these buttons, but actually, the problem is here that they will not perform the post hoc tests that we need. So, I am actually going to use the newer buttons and I'm going to go to independent samples. I'm then going to go to the fields tab. Now I need to move over my dependent variable into this box. Sometimes when you load this, actually all of these variables are over here and you have to move everything back over here and then put the one variable you want back in this box. But here it's fine. We move weight loss over and then we put diet into our groups. We then go to settings. We have to tick customize tests. We click Kruskal Wallace. We leave it on pairwise and we press run. And it's that easy to actually run the test. Now what you will see is one single table and it actually tells you whether or not you can reject the null hypothesis or not, which is nice. It also tells you the p-value, but at first glance it does not tell you your test statistic and often you do have to report your test statistic. In order to get the test statistic and the post hoc tests, we must double click on the table. It now opens up this extra window. This now gives us our test statistic, our degrees of freedom and even our N numbers and it even gives us a graph here and tells us about our mean rank. But please note that this test is a ranking test so the mean rank is not the same as the mean and also don't forget this is a non-parametric test so we would be interested in medians rather than means anyway. So in order to see our post hoc test analysis, we have to go right down here to the bottom and we have to click on the drop down menu. So this one here on the right. So pairwise comparisons. So this is what we need to click on. We click on this and now we get a diagram here that again it shows you the mean ranks but it does show that the mean ranks that were generated through this analysis are higher for diet 3. We could also go back and look at the median of diet 3 to confirm this. And then the others have uh, similar to each other, but lower than three in terms of their mean rank. We have test statistics. So what's happening here is it's almost as if we are running multiple Man Whitney U tests against each other. But as you might remember from previous videos, it's not very good practice to rerun analyses several times on the same data set because you run the chances of causing an error and getting a false positive result. So what we have here in this column, so this would be the normal p-value if, if it was just left as it was. But in this column, what we've done is there is a Bonferroni correction. So it takes the number of samples into consideration and gives you a slightly more conservative p-value. So it's trying to adjust for any possible errors that might be caused by doing repeated analysis on the same data sets. And what we can see is that we have a significant difference between diets two and three and one and three, but not between two and one. And this is actually quite similar for what we found on the one way ANOVA. So there you have it. That's how you can perform your Kruskal-Wallis test and your post hoc tests.